Hi, fresh from eBay, an impressive piece of aircraft grade equipment. This, so obviously it is made to promise your altitude. Uh, very heavy and nice quality, but I am quite suspicious if it is really an aircraft part or maybe a test set part because mainly of the fasteners here. These are not uh, just fasteners, so it is quite uh, weird. So can we find any information? Yes. Here. So what does it say? Zoom, 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 zoom. Altitude module, serial number 2802. Ah, part of TTU-205CE. Range. Cosman Instrument Company, Merrimack, something, and NSN number. So what is a TTU-205CE? Let me google it for you, and if I find anything, I will insert a picture here. So this is a picture of uh, eBay item, TTU-205CE, that uh, was uh, available for $1,000. And yes, obviously, it is a big uh, avionics test set to test uh, altimeters, probably. So this is part of the uh, test set, and it is, must be the altitude reference module. Probably very precise measuring equipment. So here is what we have on the front. Let me unzoom a little bit. Fit below or above sea water. Some backlights, uh, a non device here, and on the back we have this compartment. I will open later. We have uh, first this, so sadly I will not be able to take much of it apart because of two reasons. First, I do not want to damage the original work of cable lacing. And secondly, we have here Bristol spline screws that will not fit my Bristol spline key set. Uh, my biggest key is not big enough for this and I haven't got one matching this particular size. So it is a little bit annoying. Here we have so -so altitude. Dual Sacrotel. Interesting. So this may be a very precise uh, attitude pressure sen sensor with, of course, a uh, pneumatic input here. Of course, uh, it is written upside down, but caution, do not blow in tubes. Uh, here we have two little shielded modules with several uh, contacts. This one is branded, uh, let me read it, Sansonics. The other one I cannot see and I cannot remove them because of this uh, cable lacing here, but probably nice uh, compact electronics inside. Here we have a little bit of uh, terminal circuit board. Wires distributed everywhere. Uh, electrical connectors here and here plugs that connect the uh, different modules that are bolted like so together and I can see here beautiful gold contacts. Uh, here very expensive probably multi-turn uh, stack of potentiometers. With uh, what seems to be no an SN number serial number here excuse me 12 really really small serial number on this thing and apparently very precise specifications written terminals for it here so this must be a very expensive part here we have something else Motor something, Colsman. 
moteur générateur, or euh, servo moteur, or euh, motor, yes, motor generator, it is written. And here we have two little boxes that I will be able to undo because it seems they are socketed. So let me undo the screws and I will be right back. Here we are. One thing, I did a switch back to the GVC camera because I am not uh, really happy with the free CCD a Panasonic one. Uh, macro zoom, macro mode is not good enough for me and some uh, red balance, uh, white balance issues making uh, reddish pictures. So it could be a very nice camera in, in uh, outside use but for my uh, particular application I am not extremely happy with it. So I switch back to the GVC one which is working fine anyways. I will probably use the Panasonic for uh, shooting a little bit at the big uh, flea markets in uh, my city in uh, two weeks. So I did unscrew the two modules here and actually enough I can pull them. It is just a tube socket. Interesting. Here is uh, the first one. Signal in, signal ground, case ground, 20 volt, 8 volt supply, output with a phase shift and power ground. So some kind of an uh, phase shift uh, amplifier, something like this. Made by Bulova, yes, very expensive brand. Amplifier electronic control. Dead code 78, it seems. 45 uh, day of September 78, mm, maybe not. Interesting. Uh, okay, so this one was the first one, and the second one, let me pull it out of the way. Uh, black case with this number is again 78 here, October of 78. We have a schematic. It looks like it is a power supply unit, in fact. It will take uh, 40 hundred hertz power input. Rectify it and give you a secondary uh, output here. And you even have uh, pin numbers. Really interesting in such a compact uh, case, but as you can see, it is completely sealed and no way to have a look inside. And now, at least, we have a little bit uh, of a better view at the sticker here for this unit. Okay, I will install these two modules, and then I will undo the screws around here and we will try to have a look inside the front uh, part. Ok, one screw remaining here. Uh, the problem with the little slotted screws like this is that they do wear out, and uh, as it is imperial, I may not have replacement ones. I need to check. So, what do we have on this part? We have nothing because I did forget the side screw. And it will not help at all. Ok, so, first aluminum cover, and as expected, here we have the uh, digits, mechanical digits, that I can turn here with uh, that gear. It is interesting. So, what does happen if I go under zero? above sea level, of course I am below sea level. It must be not be every day an aircraft flies below sea level, but you need it probably for your instrument calibration. Interesting, and this is completely free to, to turn, and you can see the, uh, there is a flap here to hide the digits, but they are still turning at the same time. Interesting. So let me undo the other side. Uh, 
here we are so as expected a bunch of gears that connect everything together so big demultiplication here you can see it is turning very slowly some kind of uh, feedback potentiometer here maybe something like this very small uh, compact unit and you can see the insane construction of this thing here one centimeter thick plate here uh, this one must be six millimeters at least very big piece also here very big piece here this is an EV unit on very serious construction and here you have all the mechanics little uh, differential here some particular setup here on this big gear I do not know what it is all about but there is a number of uh, set screws all around you can adjust and it looks like so I am not able to undo this front panel because of uh, wire loom here that is secured here and here so I will not be able to pull out of the way the front panel but here there is a partial gear look at this just a, a part of a gear a triangle piece with a teeth at the end really really weird equipment and of course I would love to know what there is inside here but first uh, I am annoyed with uh, the special screws and it looks like it would require to uh, undo maybe the main shaft here that for some reason is spring loaded so if I remove even if I manage to undo this I do not know what will happen because uh, I would need to undo this here. Yes, I see a screw here on the side. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it is secured by a screw. But it looks like this unit is spring loaded. So I do not know what will happen if I uh, loosen this screw of the gear. And, uh, it will go completely out of calibration, probably. Maybe spin like crazy like, for 10 minutes. I have no idea, but here you have probably an anorid capsule on some uh, potentiometers or uh, synchro uh, transmitters. Very nice unit, or well, maybe it is. Uh, so the air seal must be here all around, most probably, but I cannot uh, really access it without uh, damaging the factory work. So unless I find another unit in a, a duplicate unit, maybe the complete test set, it should be really nice. If not, uh, the second part, the second unit like this, on the test set I would like to get, should be fun. And if not, uh, maybe one day I will find a scrap one, who knows. But for now, this one is a beautiful piece, so I will keep uh, in the uh, best condition possible. And what is this little cover for on the front? Yes, it is to access this uh, shaft here with a screwdriver uh, uh, mark at the top. So you can turn it with a screwdriver to adjust something, most probably. Okay. So, very impressive piece of equipment, I'm quite happy with it. It was just uh, 20 euros on uh, eBay from uh, Belgium. Uh, so I believe it is worth it totally. So, uh, thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, and uh, watch my other videos on my playlist. Also, there is some quite uh, neat stuff. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Last second Easter egg update. I was able to find enough replacement screws. 
in my stock of random aircraft grade hardware on screws. All this is from stuff I did, I did take apart and I keep always all the screws uh, in particular when they are imperial or special on the hardware and so on so it is completely a mess but it is always useful these are uh, screws for uh, Russian cockpit instruments and everything is not is mixed together so it is quite, it is quite a pain I have to fix out the screws I want but this time it was really handy bye bye